Hey everybody, welcome to my video about how to remotely lock your Apple devices. In this video, I'm going to show you how to lock your Apple devices remotely in case they're lost, stolen, or even if you suddenly want to lock someone out of your device remotely. I'll be showing you how to lock your Apple Watch, iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Let's get to it! The idea for this video occurred to me recently when a friend tried on my Apple Watch and it automatically unlocked for him because I unlocked my iPhone and was in Bluetooth range. I have my Apple Watch set up to unlock with iPhone in the passcode settings for my Apple Watch because I find it quite convenient first thing in the morning when I get out of bed and put it on. It never occurred to me that this situation could happen It made me think of how I could remotely lock it in the future if someone I didn't trust put it on. I decided to leave the unlock with iPhone option on when I learned that I could remotely lock it if I ever needed to. During my research, I found out you can do this with the majority of your Apple devices, so I thought I'd share this with my audience. To have this ability, all of your Apple devices need to be set up on Find My iPhone. I'll leave a link in the description below to the Apple support document telling you how to do it for each device. It's really quite simple. Once that's set up, you can either log in to iCloud.com or use the Find My iPhone app on your iPhone or iPad and remotely lock the selected device at will. First, I'll demonstrate how to lock an iPhone remotely using iCloud.com. Go to iCloud.com on a computer in the web browser. Once logged in, click on Find iPhone. This will bring up the Find My iPhone map. Locate your iPhone and press the little I in the circle button to bring up the Find My iPhone options. Click the Lost Mode button in the middle. It will prompt you to enter an optional phone number and message to be displayed on your iPhone if found, as this method is meant for a lost iPhone. Now your iPhone is locked, even if it was in use at the time. Now the only way to continue using your iPhone is to unlock it with the passcode or by turning off lost mode in Find My iPhone. This same method can be used for any of your Apple devices like your iPad or Apple Watch. You can even do this to your Mac from another computer or the Find My iPhone app on your iPhone or iPad as well. To remotely lock your Mac from your iPhone, open the Find iPhone app and locate and tap your Mac. Then either tap the Mac in the green circle on the screen or the Actions button at the bottom. Then it will ask you if you are sure that you want to lock this Mac. Then press on the green lock button and it will ask you to set up a passcode. For this example, I'm going to use 987654. Then you confirm the passcode. And you will be prompted to enter an optional message. In this example, I'm going to type in, this Mac is locked. As long as your Mac is connected to the internet, it will seem to freeze for a moment for the person who's using it, and then restart to a locked Mac screen that asks you to enter the system lock pin code you set up in Find My iPhone to unlock the Mac. To unlock your Mac, you'll need to enter the code we created. In the example for this video, we used 987654. Then the Mac restarts and allows you to log in normally to continue using it again. I think this is a very cool and super powerful feature that every Apple device user should know about. I can think of scenarios where knowing this can be very helpful, especially when a sibling, spouse, or roommate borrows your Apple device without asking. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.